welcome. I'm Hannah Lisa from Making Stories, and I welcome you together with my beautiful basket of rainbow yarns to a special video which is all about Garth Noor Organics beacons. So if you are curious about one of the really, really great DK weight worsted spun yarns out there, um, grab a seat, grab your whip, grab a cup of coffee, let's settle in and talk a little bit about one of my all-time favorite yarns and why we carry it in our webshop, uh, which you can find at makingminusstories.com. Before we dive into the goodness that is this yarn, though, I first want to talk a little bit about Garthenor because Garthenor is a super special company that I'm so glad to carry in our shop uh, because they've been true pioneers in the yarn industry when it comes to sustainability and especially producing sustainable yarns. And I think uh, they deserve um, they deserve the spotlight. If you have not heard of Garth Noor before, they are an independent family-led designer and manufacturer of certified organic yarns. They are based in the UK, in Wales, and they're run by Sally and Johnny, a mom and son duo who are some of the most lovely people that I've ever encountered, not only in the yarn world, but in the entire world. So yeah, a uh, big, big shout out to them. Garthenor started off in 1999, where they first uh, just shared the sheep that they have on their family farm and worked with a local mill to produce the first Garthenor yarns. Because uh, that's where like a big part of, um, of Garthenor's origins comes from, their farm, where they farm sheep. Uh, the yarns that they produce now, they're not just made from wool and fiber from, or fiber from their own sheep, um, because they need more fiber than that. Um, yeah, but I love that it started out from that. Um, after that, they started working with a soil association in the UK to actually develop the organic certification standards for woolen yarns, because at that time they didn't exist. Um, so not for wool yarns. And so in 2003, Garth Noor Organic became the first ever company in the world to produce a fully certified organic yarn. What? Yep. And we have them. Well, not the yarn from 2003, obviously, but, um, yeah. Um, so all like that's the that's the backstory of this amazing yarn company and it's been such a pleasure for me to watch them uh, grow and develop over the last few years uh, we've worked with them basically since since one of our first issues and it's just been such an absolute pleasure because the people are lovely and the yarns are absolutely wonderful all of their yarns are got certified so certified organic which means that during the entire production process from the farming um, the growing of the fiber through the spinning through the dyeing through the plying everything is certified organic um, which is which is great um yeah i think that's everything that um oh no my cheat sheet says something else. I also wanted to talk a little bit about the sustainability initiatives from Garth Noor because the God certification and the care that they take in the production process is a really big aspect of their work, but they've gone beyond that and integrated sustainability into basically every single thing that they do, which I think is awesome. And they have a couple of initiatives that they've slowly started adding over the last few years that I think are worth mentioning. So they first started out with planting a tree for every skein that they sell, uh, no matter whether that's to us stockists or through their website, which they still do. Um, and then they also um, started offsetting their entire carbon footprint and not just offsetting it, making them climate neutral, but they offset twice as much carbon di dioxide, dioxide, how do you pronounce that in English? Um, emissions than uh, CO two emissions essentially than they um, uh, than they produce, making them climate positive. The most recent initiative uh, is that they join one percent for the planet. If you've not heard of one percent for the planet, it's an initiative that was founded by Yvonne Chouinard, I think, 
uh, the founder of Patagonia, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and the companies that become members, they pledge to dedicate 1% of their annual revenue, so revenue, not profit, to environmental causes, which I think is an awesome thing to be a part of. So yeah, um, that is Garthenor Organic for you. And now I want to talk about beacons. So Garthenor started out um, with a beautiful range of undyed yarns and Beacons was actually one of the one of the first dyed yarns that they that they added um, and it is gorgeous and super soft and super lovely for basically everything that you that you would want to ever knit with it. Um, and we quite recently expanded our color range so we now carry 11 beautiful colors almost all of the colors of the rainbow. There are still a lot more though, so <clears throat> stay tuned. Maybe we'll add more. Um, this yarn, like all of their yarns, as I said, is certified organic. And let's talk a little bit more about the yarn specs. So um, the yarn composition is 75% Polworth and then uh, Romney and Hebridean, and depending on which colorway you're looking at, you're looking at either, like this is 22% this is Romney and 3% Hebridean, the colorway Marble. The colorway Cinder is 15% Romney and 10% Hebridean. And you can see what they do here. They mix in more of the Hebridean, which is the darker colored fleece sheep, sheep fleece, um, sheep breed, sheep breed fleece, what, you know what I mean, um, to get a darker gray. So Marble is a little lighter and has less Hebridean, Cinder is a little darker and has more Hebridean. And Cinder is what a lot of the dyed uh, yarns are are dyed on which um, makes them super lovely because they have so much depth like really so much depth super super good the Polworth is sourced from Dunbar Island which is an island that belongs to uh, to the Falklands um, and uh, it has a really like Polworth is what makes this yarn so smooth um and so soft it has a micron count from of like i think 19 microns which is incredibly soft and it's also a really long staple fiber that helps make this yarn really good for stitch definition mm -hmm. the romney is sourced from wiltshire in england and the hebridean is sourced both from the black isle in scotland as well as went in wales so yay um also, why is the Polworth source not from the UK? Because it's not available in the UK. Like that is the only place where in terms of organic certification and traceability, they can get the fleece that they need to make this yarn. Um, so yeah, you see sustainability also has trade-offs. Falklands and transport, not super great, but then it's organic and super traceable. So yeah, should go without saying, the yarn is non-super wash. So if you are knitting something with it, you need to wash it by hand. Uh, I hear there are some people who also wash it on a gentle machine wash cycle. I haven't dared to do that yet. I would just wash it, wash it by hand. Um, and if we're talking about where the yarn comes from, we should also talk about where it's produced. So it's scoured, spun and dyed in West Yorkshire. And if we're spinning, if we're, if you're looking at the yarn, uh, and you're curious about how it's spun, you can see that it is worsted spun, which means the fibers are combed into one direction before they are being spun. And it is a three ply yarn, which makes it really, really smooth and gives it, it's just really round. It's really round, which makes it, which gives it such excellent stitch definition. Um, after it's been dyed, it gets sent to the wonderful new premises of Garth and Moore in Cardigan in West Wales, where it's then plied and skeined by themselves. So, yay! 
DK weight can mean it at a lot of different gauges. Um, a recommended needle size is 3.75 to 4.5 millimeter, which is a US 5 to 7. Um, I like knitting this on a 4 or a 4.5 millimeter, so US 6 or 7. I think it gives it really nice drapey fabric. I also think you could even go higher than that if you wanted to have a really, really drapey fabric. Just play around with it. Like this is really great for a lot of different gauges. Um, yeah. What else is it great for? So it's, as I said, it's great for, for stitch definition. So anything with texture, anything with cables, it's wonderful for baby and kid knits. Kids, kids knits, Ooh, what a word. Uh, kids knits um so i've uh, knitted a fair share of baby gifts in this because it is super soft and because there are there's a lovely color selection too um it also just looks really great in stocking and stitch because of the because of the heathery colors so really like this is a super wonderful all all rounder yarn i would say um that's also really quite durable because of the way that it's spun so it's not gonna just pill and your sweater is going to dissolve. So, um, so yeah, just really lovely. Speaking of colors, I just want to introduce all of those colors really quickly to you. Um, if you are already looking for project inspiration, we also have a blog post up on our blog about this yarn where we introduce you to a few patterns that you might like, but really any pattern that calls for DK weight yarn will work well with this. Um, color work, texture, stockinette, cables, all of them. Roughly in order from light to dark, let's get started. Marble is a beautiful oh, beautiful white just with a touch of gray so it is on the cooler side then we have cinder a gorgeous heather light gray we have gorse a beautiful yellow that you know where the name comes from right it's really stunning so I'm gonna knit myself a sweater in this combination marble and gorse we also have sycamore which is a gorgeous burned orange as well as baked crimson for everyone who loves a really good red. This is a really good red. And then completing the range of reds and pinks, we have Koi, which to this day is one of my all time favorite shades of pink. So just putting all of them next to each other, just so that you can see. Those are the reds. Then we have gorgeous, a gorgeous light green, almost sea green. That's called lichen. I just love this so much. It's such a pretty green, so pretty. Um, and wild olive which is a really beautiful, more muted green. Like if you are more into the muted green colors, this, this is great for you. And then we have three different blues. Let's start with the brightest one. All of them are new to, to us now. Um, so this is, this is Dragonfly. This is a beautiful petrol blue, really bright, like really, this would be super fun for a kit. Um, if you're more into the muted things, we also have Cadet. Oh, which is kind of like almost the same color as my sweater. So this is a beautiful muted, um, muted, I would say almost denim, den denim blue, if you're like into the denim side of things. Um, and then we also have Kettle which is really hard to describe. It is, it almost looks black on the screen. It is a very dark 
bluish green that almost reads as black almost reads as black I think if I were to put it next to my skin it could read as black so yeah these are the beautiful Garth and Orr organic beacons colors that we have they're stunning and they're such good yarns um yeah if you have any questions about them just pop us a question down below in the comments and if you want to see any of the yarns uh, in combinations just send us an email we're always super happy to help Alrighty, see you next time bye